Hey guys, Moshe, the Electric Israeli is here and thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And today I'm going to do uh, the first of what I think is going to be several uh, videos about the Lucid Air. The Lucid Air uh, electric car sedan that is uh, supposedly coming out next year. Yeah, I want to do a, a little different take. I saw a lot of videos. I want to do a different take about it. And that is where it will be... Uh, who is this for? Who is the customer for this car? And is it reasonably uh, going to be uh, out uh, next year? What is the pattern? What is the path? And also, uh, is it uh, going to be the entry of something bigger next uh, in the future? That's what I'm most interested in. But I will be uh, not doing a good service if I don't give the basic specs. First of all, it is an absolutely beautiful uh, sedan. Very roomy, a five-seater, luxury, slick, both from the exterior and the interior with lots of room, lots of headroom, lots of legroom, uh, beautiful touch screens, a dash, Listen, it's 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 great. Technology is great. Uh, I hope they will have the idea of uh, uh, software updates. Uh, uh, they're going to use the uh, Electrify America. Uh, it's a fast charging network, which is growing and growing. So it looks great. It really looks great. Let's go look at the four different models that they have. You can absolutely go to, to their website and configure your uh, car and put a whopping $1,000 uh, to uh, put your uh, name on the list and then hopefully you get it next year. So what, what do they have for sale? So they have the Lucid Air, obviously, uh, which promised to be below $80,000. We don't know anything about the range, the horsepower and the zero to 60. Uh, and it's supposedly it's going to be available in uh, 2022. Now, all of the Lucid Air uh, trims are going, the promising to have a 300 miles uh, char fast charging in 20 minutes, which averages uh, uh, for 1,200 miles per hour. And that's probably 300-ish uh, um, uh, kilowatt, uh, uh, 300 kilowatt uh, uh, of, of, of fast charging on a CCS model, which, which I like. CCS is great. Uh, it, it's the most available, other, of course, than Tesla uh, supercharging, but it's great. They even have, they even promising a home charging uh, system that will give you 80 miles per hour. Uh, my uh, Tesla home charging gives you about 40 miles per hour on a two on a 240 uh, uh, with the Tesla uh, uh, charger. So that's great. That's really, really great. Um, let's take a look at the next model, um, the Air Touring which starts at 95,000, promising 406 uh, miles of range, 620 horsepower, 3.2 um, seconds, uh, 0 to 60, and uh, also they are promising 11.4 uh, seconds uh, uh, for the quarter mile, that's impressive, and 155 miles per hour top speed. The next one is the Air Grand Touring. That's 139,000. That promising 517 miles. No electric cars is promising this. These miles at this point. 800 horsepower. 3 seconds 0 to 60. 10.8 second uh, uh, quarter mile. And 168 miles per hour top speed. And the last one. The Air Dream Edition. $169,000 uh, to start. 503 miles less. It has to do with the with the tires. If you get the smaller tires, you you will get seven, uh, 517 miles. 1,080 horsepower. Wow. 2.5 seconds. Uh, 0 to 69.9 for quarter mile and 168 top speed. Uh, the Air Touring will be available in Q4 of 2021. The Grand Touring will be available in Q2 of 2021. And the same goes for the uh, Air Dream Edition for Q2 of 2021. There is a factory being constructed in Arizona. So obviously, this is this sound so familiar. The, 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 the uh, theme is very familiar to what Tesla did 10 years ago. Okay, when Tesla actually started with the very, very, very high end of the uh, Roadster for very few people for 130,000, then it was that two seater, then it was the Model S, 
you know the 80,000 70,000 you know and that and then the model x and then the uh the path was for the model three and now the model y and we have a cyber truck next year so is that the path for a uh, lucid air okay is that what they're going to do or what do you see it what is because if if this is what you see if this is what it's going to be about then great then there'll be very few people who is going to buy or are going to buy this car and it's going to make them a lot of money and that's great that's fine is there a model three is there an affordable sedan in the future uh is is that the idea to bring it to the masses what if that if that's going to come to the light that's going to be wonderful. It's absolutely going to be wonderful. And this is exactly the uh, path that Tesla took. And this is the path that they are, that they are uh, taking, if that's what they're going to do. So that, that is going to be uh, the question to ask for the future. Uh, what is the path? It is a sedan or and that's it? Or is it going to be a, a, a small sedan for the masses? Is it going to be some kind of a crossover? What, what is the path? Uh, for success because if again if this is what it is this is a niche car for very wealthy people it's just like the porsche Taycan. okay it's a 130 to almost two hundred thousand uh, dollar car wonderful a uh, uh, good luck the 10 people are going to buy it that that's fine now one thing that it's impressive and then we we will see we'll see what it is we'll see what it is i don't want to criticize or imply criticism is the range now that's fantastic. The, the most range that you get today is an EPA range of 402 miles for the Tesla Model S, the long range. That's it. Now, 500 miles, Tesla is promising 500 miles for the Cybertruck. <clears throat> so they're not the first one who are going, who are saying these things, but we will see in reality what will be uh what will be the actual uh real world range you know i always if you watch my channel i always talk about real world range but this number these numbers are extraordinarily uh, uh, impressive it, it's a dual motor car by the way and and you know what um we'll see uh uh I wish them great success. It looks like the things are done right. There's a factory. This is not some kind of I'm going to build it. Uh, GM is going to build it for me. This looks like a serious, a serious thing, and I hope that they succeed. So I'm going to make some more videos later on as it comes out. Uh, maybe I'll get to see it in one of the other shows. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Put your comments below, and I'll see you tomorrow.